how to install the Android software development kit and Eclipse software development kit. Let's begin. First you open up your browser. We need to go to some website, visit some websites, download some software. First website we go to is android.com and once the Android page opens up go to developers. Once the developer page opens up go over to the SDK tab, software development kit tab. I'm running Windows 7 so that's the um, version we're going to install for. If you have Windows to, it's recommended you use the EXE installer. If not, if you have Mac or Linux you have to use on um, the, um, you have to download the zips. Download the package for the platform that you have. We're going to download the EXE, click save, and let that download. Now that you have that started, I'm going to go over to installing the SDK. This page has all of the directions you need to follow in order to set up your software development um, platform. What we're going to do is we're going to just rush through the process. First, you need to go over to the JDK link for the Java Development Kit. That's the first program we need to install. Then we're going to open up and visit the Eclipse site so we can get the um, Eclipse software developer kit. Open that up in a new link. Alright, now that we're at the Oracle page, we need to install Java. We need to install the Java development kit, the JDK. Once this window opens up, choose whatever platform you have. We have Windows 32 bit. If you have 64, you choose 64. We have 32 bit, so that's the one we are going to download. Yes, you agree, and continue. Now we're going. Now we're at the um, download link page. You can see you can download the EXE. We're going to download the EXE. Just click on the link, press save. Whatever browser you have, same process. Just download, accept all. Yes. All right. Now we come over to the Eclipse page, the Eclipse download page. We're going to go over to developers. Once developers open up, we want the first one, Eclipse Classic. We're up to 3.7 now. You choose whichever platform you have. Whether you have Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. We have Windows 32 bit, so we're going to download this one. Click the link. It will take you to the Eclipse download mirror selection page. At this point, you can just click download and let that start. Now you're downloading all of the three software, the main software that we need. Now close these windows out. <coughs> Once those finish downloading to your computer, you will go to your download folder. And you should have three files. I already set up on Android Pre-K folder. I already downloaded these files. The first one that we need to install is the Java Development Kit. The Java Development Kit includes the Java Runtime Environment. You will be installing both. I'm going to install it now just to show you what the process looks like. Once the installation window start, wizard starts up, just click next. You can choose where you want to install the um, EXE on your computer. And I'll just click next. And once this um, installing window opens up, let this progress run. And then I'll show you what the next window you should see. Okay, the Java Development Kit has just finished installing. Now you need to install the Java Runtime Environment. Just allow it to install, all you need to do is just click next right now and it will install the Java um, runtime environment. Let this run and I'll uh, um, show you what it looks like when you finish installing. Congratulations, you have just installed the Java development kit and Java runtime environment. At this point, you just press finish. Now what we're going to do is we're going to install the Java um, SDK manager, AVD manager. Just double click on the EXE. Once this window pops up, the setup wizard pops up, just press next. It's saying that it cannot find the Java development kit. Just press back and press next. And now it just found it. Why it does that, I don't know. All I know is that you need to just press next. Now you just decide where you want to install the Android SDK manager. Press next. You can just press install right now, let that process run. 
congratulations you've just installed the Android SDK manager now it's gonna ask if you want to start the SDK manager yes okay once the SDK manager finished um, searching the repository for the packages this window will pop up you click cancel we're gonna install all of this stuff um, ourselves we go to available packages come to Android repository and you could choose whichever um, platform you want to develop for. I would suggest starting at API 7 2.1 and install everything up. Also, I want to install the samples for each version because at some point in time I might want to um, see what the pro how, see how the programs are set up. And we're also going to install the Google APIs not going to install the Samsung Electronics add-ons. Now once you have everything that you want to install selected, matter of fact we're going to install the Google USB package, the, the marketing licensing package, and the marketing billing package. We're going to install all of that. Okay, once you press install selected, you can see a list of the files that you are going to um, download and install. Just to choose accept all and install the um, install window will download and install all of your um, software that you've chosen. Okay, once that's finished installing all of your packages, you can come to installed packages and see all of the um, platforms and packages and software that you just installed. We're going to come over to virtual devices and we are going to create um, a virtual device for you. These are a few that are already made. I'm going to show you how to set one up. Come over to new That'll open up your um, create new Android virtual device window. Select the name. We're going to use fake phone. Remember, you cannot have any spaces inside the name of your um, emulator or virtual device. And choose whatever um, platform you want to use. That's the target. You choose the platform. Choose your size that you want your. Um, emulator SD card to emulate um, over here skin you choose whatever um, screen size you want I'm gonna just choose the um, basic default one option other than that you don't have to change any other option just click on create and um, AVD and it will start the process of creating your virtual device all right and now your Android Virtual Device Manager result of creating your AVD fake phone. That's the name that we chose. It'll show you your other options. You don't really have to worry about that. Click OK. And you can see that your virtual device was created. This is your emulator that will emulate whatever platform you chose as the target and your API level. Once you have it created, what it looks like, you can just press start. The launch window will come up for your own um, virtual device, your emulator. I like to choose a screen size of seven, seven inches. You can leave the monitor DPI alone. You don't need to change any other options. And the screen size, you can set that to whatever you want. And you can come back and edit it later if you want to change it if it's too big for your screen. Once you press launch, it will start your own um, emulator, your virtual device, and you'll see what this looks like. All right, and after you finish playing the waiting game for your um, emulator to start, you'll notice that it has all of the buttons that you would have on the actual hardware device. The camera button doesn't work, but you have a keyboard, and everything else in the phone operates much like a regular phone would. And it will look like the basic layout of whatever um, SDK platform you installed. Um, we'll go deeper into it in a future tutorial. But for right now, we're just going to close it. I just wanted you to see what it looked like. We're going to close the SDK Manager, and we're going to install Eclipse. Right now, all you need to do is just extract the, um, the, the files from the zip folder. 
And once that's finished, you will have a folder depending on where you extracted it to called Eclipse. All you need to do is just open that folder. It's a portable application, so you can just start up the exe from wherever you have the file folder at. Let Eclipse start up. It'll initialize everything from the SDK. And now we wait for this to start. Once it starts up, it'll ask you where do you want to um, choose your workspace, where do you want your workspace to be. For this tutorial, I'm going to make it my um, download folder, the pre-K folder that we made. You can choose whatever workspace you want. This is just what I'm doing for right now. Once you choose the, the um, folder that you want to work from, you just um, check this box and you'll use that as a default so it doesn't ask you again. And I'll just wait for it to load up. Okay, you have e Eclipse um, initialized. First thing you need to do is come over to help. Go down to install new software. And we need to get you the link for the repository of the ADT plugin. We need to install a plugin to make Eclipse um, more Android friendly. So we come down to ADT plugin for Eclipse. Android development tools. Once that page opens up, scroll down to downloading the ADT plugin. You can see the Eclipse 3.5. We have 3.7, but this link will still work. Just highlight the link, right click, copy, paste, or control V if you want. Take that link back over here to work with, copy and paste it in. Come over to add. The link will be in the location to area. Just click OK. Eclipse will search the repository for the um, developer tools plugin. It will find it. You can see everything is going to install. At this point is pretty much dummy proof. Just press next. It will install. It's letting you know what programs is going to be installed. Press next. Yes, you do accept the terms of the license agreement. It's finished. And it will start the install process. The next window that will pop up will ask you if you um, validate the authenticity of the unsigned content. I'll stop at that window and let you see what that looks like. Yes, you do validate the authenticity of the software, of the unsigned content. Just click OK and it will finish the installation of the plugin. Once it's done, it will ask you if you want to restart now or apply the changes now or not now. Just press restart now. It will restart Eclipse. As you can see, Eclipse just restarted. It's going to initialize. That way it takes the settings of the new um, plugin, the ADT plugin. And it'll get that set up for you. Okay, once Eclipse opens up again, now we need to go up to Windows or Window and go to Preferences. Inside of the Preferences, go to Android. And we need to tell Eclipse where the SD, SDK location is, the Android SDK location is. So if you use the EXE, You'll just go to wherever you installed the program. If you use the zip file, you would just go to wherever you extracted the zip file to. All right. This has the SDK that we just installed. Once you select it, you'll see it come up in the folder. You see SDK, Android SDK. Click OK. Click Apply. It loaded all of the content. You can see all of the um, platforms that we installed. Just click OK. And now you have everything set up. Everything is pretty much ready to go. When you're ready to start a new project, all you have to do is just come over here to Workbench. And this is what it'll look like. 